Magandang umaga, Rosie Nelza, para po sa ating uh, vlog for today. Um, uh, pasensya na po, paminsan-minsan lang po tayo magba-vlog nang dahil sa tayo busy-busy uh, from COVID-19. Um, tapos, balik eskwela. Uh, kaya, nang dahil sa COVID-19, medyo lim limited yung resources natin sa classroom. For now, I am going to feature yung small world top spot or top tray okay um, sa top spot natin ngayon ang theme po natin ay farmhouse syempre pag sinabing farmhouse kasama na dun yung mga farm animals Nang dahil sa hindi tayo pwedeng maglagay ng grass kasi nga hindi naman napupunasan palagi at hindi nasa sanitize palagi yung grass So, we are using drawing na lang po. Dinraw na lang po natin yung greenery sa paligid ng farmhouse. Nang dahil siyan, ipapakita ko sa inyo papano po po uh, binuo ang aking top spot. It's gonna be a new thing for you maybe, perhaps. Pero, syempre, pa para po sa mga guro na gustong magkakaidea how to build their top spot. Paano i-create yung top spot nyo para mas, mas ma-enjoy ng bata. At tinahaluan po natin ito ng uh, real materials. At ipa- uh, yeah, explain ko po sa inyo. Papakita ko sa inyo kung ano ang mga iyon. Okay. Pero we're not bringing in, of course, sa school yung mga real animals. So, we're using um, plastic toys. And yes, hindi ko napapatagalin pa. Nandito po ang ating farm top spot tama ba ako dun? yeah farmhouse na top spot farm animals here we go So, yan na po. Haya na po ang sinasabi ko sa inyo na farmhouse, farm animals, na top spot. So, of course, dahil sa farm, meron naman talagang bahay. So, we're using this wooden, wooden small house. Siyempre, kailangan natin ng mga small people. Hindi lang po siya decorations, kundi para gamitin ng bata habang nagro-roleplay sila, habang naglalaro sila dito. So, they can use this uh, small people for them to talk like a portray this as a mother, as father, as anybody they like. Depende sa bata yan. And so, yan po, meron po tayong cat. Kasi syempre, makikita naman natin sa family yung cats. Okay, so tayo na po ang bahala. Mag-isip kung anong ilalagay natin para uh, magustuhan ng bata. Syempre, para mas attractive sa kanila, we need it to be very colorful. Though, sabihin natin, may mga wooden tayo at saka may mga plastic tayo yung ginagamit. Okay? So, yan yung ang, ang uh, first floor ng bahay. And now, I'm gonna introduce the second floor. I mean, what I mean is the ground floor ng bahay. So, pinuno pa rin natin siya ng mga small people kasi ang mga bata talaga gusto, gusto nila nang marami sila nakikita sa top spot. Hindi lang yung basta-basta ang ilagay mo lang sa top spot ang mga bagay pa. Yan. So, yan. Pagkadami yung mga small people dyan. Makikita nyo. Iba't ibang klase ng uh, tao. Meron tayong doctor. Meron tayong Mr. Handyman. Meron tayong vet. Ayan, si vet. Hello there, Mr. Vet. And then, ayan. Ayan. So, kayo na pong bahala kung anong ilalagay nyo. Kung ano lang pong available resources sa bahay nyo or sa eskwelahan nyo. You can create this uh, small top spot for your kids at home as well for them to play in their small um, playroom. And so, presenting, going to the surroundings of the house. So, we painted, I painted this paper pages, more greenery since it is a farm. So, it needs to be grassy. So, I put the grassy. Though, hindi natin binuong grassy yung place kasi at tutumbuhay. Hindi naman talaga lahat ng place ng surrounding ng farm is grassy. They can have this uh, 
empty space, like mountain space, whatever. But then yes, yan po ang mangyari dito sa ating top spot. So meron tayong maliit na aso. <laughs> and then meron tayong mga cows. So yan po sila cow. Hello cow. Good morning cow. And then yes, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo totoo. Nilagyan natin ng totoong bulaklak. So kailangan mag-ingat ang mga bata dito para hindi nila ma-hurt yung bulaklak na ito. Ayan. So, kailangan nila itong i-water every day. Not too much. Just enough for the flower to drink. And then, meron tayong real rocks. Okay? Ayan. No, rocks to do yan. And then, meron tayong footpath para kunyari lalabas yung tao ng bahay. Pupunta siya sa footpath para kunyari pupunta siya ng sa bakahan niya, sa kanyang cow. And then, pupunta natin ng hole at pupunta siya sa kanyang mga kambing. Iti-check mo yung mga kambing. Tapos meron tayong plastic lang po ito, mga kaibigan. That is plastic. But then this one is a real flower. Dapat maintindihan ng bata. Natutuo sila at iingatan ng bata na huwag masaktan ng mga flower na yan. And then we have the figury area. Kasi nasa farm naman si pigs. Pa, di ba? And then, makikita nyo sa tuktok nito ay meron tayong mga manok. So, this area is for bubble A to play. Kasi, pinati yung classroom. So, ang bubble A ay dito sila sa... Naglalaro sila sa mga baka, sa small green area, sa mga kambing, at sa kasa bubble. At they can play the small people as well. And they can take care of their own plants in this uh, bubble A side of the top spot. And then, gonna go to the other side of the top spot. Oops. Sorry, I need to move this. I can't go around. So yeah, that's the bubble A area. Now at the bubble B area, makita nyo. Makita nyo, division po yung classroom. Kasi meron po tayong bubble A and bubble B. So dito sa bubble B area, pero pa karagtong nandun yung mga tao. Meron din mga tao dito. So dito, ayan. So ganito yung scenario sa Bubble Bee area. So, they can play with the king and then this little girl and uh, Mr. Carpenter or yeah, Mr. Carpenter. That's the upper side of the house and on the lower ground we have different kind of kids Ooh, crawling on the floor. We have two dogs and then we have these uh, grown-ups to watch for the kids. So, yan po. And then, syempre, meron din tayo greenery. Pinain ko din po yan. So, meron tayong little pond where these little ducklings can play. And we have these turkey, two turkeys, walking around in front of the building of the farmhouse. And then we have the two gray sheep and the real plants as well on the other side for them to take care at saka itutubigan nila yung araw-araw meron tayong tutuong flowers sa kabila ayan and then meron tayong mga horses sa sa gilid ng bahay na meron tayong maliit na puno ito plastic lang po yan okay but then this one is a real plant real rocks picture of the front yard and small people and we have the chicken and the hen the hen and the roosters okay and we have the plastic uh, plant with touch of light yeah and then behind it is Mr. Fox or Mr. Wolf Okay, and then we have again on the other side of roosters and hen and roosters. So, yan po ang beauty ng ating kaspa. So, sana nagustuhan nyo. And, uh, yeah. Kung gusto nyo uh, gumawa ng the same kaspa, we have these real logs. They are real logs. Kung sana katuntun yung ating mga manok. Ayan. So, 
So, yan po. Tatlong logs yan. Okay. Iikot ko po kayo ulit. So, yan po. Let's take a photo. Ganyan po kaganda ang ating top spot. So slowly, I will give you a tour before I end the video. So yan po ang mga ginamit natin. Meron tayong real logs, wooden house, meron tayong plastic bush, uh, plastic animals, real plant, real uh, rocks. We have the plastic toys like sheep, farm animals, ducks, goose, whatever. We have the dogs and the babies and the oldies, grown-ups and yes, on the other side we have the, of course, the rooster on the side. We have the pigs on the side. The goats. Let's take a photo of them. And then Cool, right? Isn't it? You have to do the same if you want to. If you like this top spot so much, please give me your subscription and then follow my account for you to see the next top spot that I am going to feature in my channel. Okay? So, yun po ang napaka creative na top spot natin sa araw na ito. This is uh, a farmhouse, farm animals, and yeah, Alexander Lester Jewels, aka Rose and Elsa. Saying thank you so much, and uh, thanks so much for watching. And if you're not subs, uh, if you're not yet a subscriber on my channel, please subscribe my channel and yeah. Um, please leave comments on my comment section. Tell me about your thoughts, your uh, negative or positive review on this top spot, and then tell me more what you want me to feature on my next uh, vlog. Okay? So, yun po, yun po ang buhay teaching assistant of road, Rose and Elsa, or Alexander Lexter Drew, saying, uh, salamat po sa panonood, and hope to see you in my next vlog. And, yeah, uh, kung anong paman po ang gusto nyong makita sa aking future vlogs, since araw-araw naman tayo may ginagawa sa school, kung ano-ano yung gusto pang gustong malaman na ginagawa natin as teaching assistant dito sa Dubai, lagay niyo lang sa comment section and see you in my next And, yeah. Stay safe, everybody. And stay healthy. And, yes. Subscribe my channel. Tap the bell. For you to get notified on my next vlog. Bye-bye and... I love you all. Bye!